Hi, I'm Peter from Project Heaven Restoration, and today I'm going to show you this freshly restored car that we've just done. It's a Mercedes Pagoda 2.8 injection. Okay, so originally we purchased this car, it was an import from America, and it was in terrible condition. It was appalling. The whole of the underneath of it was made out of fiberglass. Like, literally the whole floor pan, it fell off in one big slab, and we had to strip the car down completely to every single last component, put it on a rotisserie, and sandblast it until hardly anything was left. And then we went about replacing all the metal with brand new sheet metal. So it's had new wings, new floors, new chassis sections, an amazing amount of metal work done, and it's immaculate. Once we got the metal work all complete, it then went for a full bare metal respray in this lovely blue color. And then we rebuilt the engine, the, uh, the transmission, which is automatic, the rear axle, which is quite a strange design. We'll show you that in a minute. And um, all the interior trim but we didn't actually replace the seat covers and everything because that was actually in good order. We just took them off, repaired all the foams and reupholstered them back on. So let's start by looking inside the car. Okay, so inside the car, a lot of the original trim has been retained in actual fact. The steering wheel's all original, a lot of the dash is original, the seat covers are, the carpets are, they've just been, carpet's been re-dyed. Like I said, the seats have been rebuilt and the foams replaced. Uh, and it's had a lot of TLC. The other upgrades we've done in here, it's got a Bluetooth DAB digital radio uh, with speakers hidden in the back section of the car there. So you've got decent stereo um, and all the clocks and gauges have been refurbished. We've also added charging points and USB charging points as well for sat navs and things like that. Okay, so next thing, let's uh, have a look in the back of the car and then we'll look in the engine. Okay, so under the back here, like I mentioned earlier, it's got a strange rear suspension setup. In the center, there's a transverse spring between the two halves of the axle. And then at each corner, there's also another spring. So there's actually three springs on the back. So it's quite a pain to assemble. We had to, we had to make special tooling to dismantle and rebuild it. A lot of the chrome has been uh, completely re-chromed and refurbished, but not all of it, because some of it was in good order. Uh, we did have to do the bumpers there. As you can see, they're particularly immaculate now. Right, inside the boot, on these pagodas, Often the boot isn't actually trimmed, but on this one we decided to trim it with some nice edge bound carpets to sort of lift it up a bit. Because originally they have like a rubber mat in there or nothing at all, so, so there's that. Now next, let's have a look at the engine. Okay. So under here you can see We've also got the freshly rebuilt engine um, and we've also gone to the trouble of uh, vapour blasting a lot of the components like the inlet manifold, rocker cover, things like this. The bits that we would, didn't want to take off an engine and blast separately, we then ice blasted the whole thing as well in place. Uh, the pump has been rebuilt, the mechanical injection pump. Uh, and also we took as many of these cadmium plated parts off as we could and had them redone. And I think that really helps to sort of uplift the look of the engine bay. So I think the next thing to do is to take this thing for a good test drive. So first of all, we want to make sure that it pulls away in every gear because it's an automatic. Make sure it goes through all the gears correctly. It's not lurching or and it's achieving all the gears and I can feel that it's already done that smoothly. Engine's pulling great, so that, that's good. It sounds absolutely fine, there's no strange noises or knocks or vibrations coming from anything. All the gauges are operational, so yeah, I think the next thing is we'll go and get on some of the turns here and just check the handling. Put my foot down a bit. Yeah, it's going great. So 
no problems there. The ride's nice and smooth. It's tracking straight. Nothing's vibrating or pulling. Handling's really good actually. Brakes are working fine. They're pulling up nice and square and they're sharp. Oil pressure's really good. Water temperature's really good. It's good to corner really hard just to see if there's any strange knocks, but everything's fine. Now it's slowing down now, so it should make its way down through the gearbox, which it is. Just turn around here. Get into reverse, no problem. Right, let's go back the other way again. Acceleration is great, really good. So we're going to kick down. There we are, kick down. She's really going for it now. along quite nicely. the uh, road test was very successful and that uh, the car was ready to deliver to the customer so we'll be taking it to him uh, in London later on this week. <laughs>